we kind of convinced Dolly like eight years ago that this was like a really cool film and then it took us eight years to convince everybody else. Seriously Red is about a self-confessed clown misfit who doesn't really fit in with her nine to five job or her life. And so she decides to take herself seriously by becoming a Dolly Parton impersonator. So for her to figure out who she is, she first has to become someone else. Well, howdy Elvis. Ladies and gents, dollars and cents. Hello, Dolly, look at you. Please do, I'd rather be looked at than overlooked. <laughs> Getting Dolly on board of this film was such a, it was everything. We couldn't have done and we wouldn't have wanted to do the film without her because it's such a big love letter to her. And we also needed help with her music. Um, so Rose was pregnant at the time and she was shooting a film. So she printed off a copy, drove a across a couple of states, gave it to Dolly's manager, Danny Nozell, who was such a champion of the film and is an executive producer on the film because he was, true to his word and a big heart and he read it, Dolly read it twice that night and they went, yep, yeah, let's, we'll help you. Just let us know what else we can do. And we're like, well, mm. <laughs> The writing of the screenplay took like 10 years. And I also figured out that I couldn't write and do an acting job at the same time. So whenever I got a play or a telly movie or, or, or a film or whatever I was doing, I'd have to put it down and just focus on, yeah, doing that job. I thought I could do both, but I can't. Sorry? Holding on to the sense of humour in the writing sometimes I found sometimes challenging because some people just necessarily wouldn't get it or they've got a different sense of humour and you're like, no, 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 I know that's good. I know that's good, please. <laughs> I think sometimes it can kind of, people try to kind of wash over some, some of some comedy writing and going, is that still funny? Because I've now read it five times and you're like, no, let's just let, let it be. And even if it's not, even if it's not necessarily funny on the page, if you still have the effervescence of it and you cast great people, great actors, um, they will also throw, create on top of that. The stream is a small body of water. There's no way an island fits in a stream. So all of the music element was done in so many different ways because of COVID and the way we were shooting, which was so fast. Some of it we were just like, we just got to sing live and we'll, we'll re-record later. Some of it we got to work with Harry Angus, who was Cat Empire. Some songs we got to record with him. So it wasn't done in the classical sense of a normal film would be, which would be you all get to record at the same time and then do it afterwards. But because it was COVID and we were all kind of all over the place, it, that was a little bit chop and changey, but they were really fun to shoot all of those sequences. And I'm, I grew up dancing and singing and acting at Brent Street, which is like a little a performing arts studio here in Sydney. And that's just part of my bones. I just love, I love all of that part of performing. I love a, a bit of sparkle. I love musicality and I, I love that about Australia. I just kind of wanted to see more of it, I guess. So that's why I, I wrote all that stuff in there. All the extras came down from Queensland and they were all legit tribute artists. It was just amazing. <laughs> We're like, this is so cool. <laughs> Thank you, Elton. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, Danny Minogue came and played Danny Minogue, like a Danny Minogue in post, and I, and I was totally starstruck. I'm going, I used to love Young Talent, though. Danny. If I pull down and you pull sideways, it might work. We all had my film seriously read and we were all reading it and giving notes and thoughts and it was our lead producer Jessica Carrera that said why don't we just start a production company and this can be our first film. We're all involved already. There's nothing like a bunch of like-minded people coming together to make something kind of positive and hopefully joyous. I guess we're doing this. Home sweet home. I hope audience take away like a tiny slice of joy a moment to have maybe with their friends. But really, if, it, if they just get a second to just retouch back in with their identity and make sure that they're cool with it and make sure that's like, that they cherish it and they, 
realign, realign themselves to who they are today, that would be a bonus.